Hello there everyone and thank you for rejoining me here in Castle Redux in which we're playing as everyone's favorite book, Bokurit, the Bokurit of Somalia. But right now we have Hasna Dora Brigade, the shock of conservatives, a young group of young educated women and their husbands have organized themselves into a brigade to fight for Somalia. They call themselves the Hasna Dora Brigdad, Brigade, and are named after the wife of Abdullah Hassan who allegedly fought alongside him. Everyone is doing their part. As we are not a war, but a modern military doctrine. War is raging worldwide, the countries pit against one another in a desperate struggle for victory, of course. In order to best prepare for this scenario, we must remain aware of the tactical and strategic developments of these times and find ways to exploit them in order to defend the motherland and begin army reform. The reformation of the army, any army, is always easier to say than done. The first obstacle we face is where to focus our efforts. In addition to the question of centralizing the army or allowing it to retain its degree of autonomy, is vital to the modernization. Of course, such a decision would have political consequences. No matter what we choose, which is why further efforts must be preceded by sweeping political reforms and mass recruiting. Somalia men, heed the call for your clan, your family, and your country needs you. Come to the nearest recruiting station and sign up for the fight, and together with your brothers, work hard to ensure that Somalia shall never again fall under the yoke of imperialism, as we did raise conscription to service by requirement. And these guys are attacking us like, uh, I'm not super crazy. And anything, I don't think they'll naval invade us. You never know. Um, I'll put you like here, maybe? But yeah, overall, it's we're, we're doing alright. Obviously, they have way more manpower. We're not... I like us here, though. Um, so we're just kind of hanging out. We seem to be holding out fairly decently. We're becoming mountaineers, infantry leaders. So we'll see, even though their manpower levels are very high, which is very not good for us, of course. Um, our local militias. Oh, well, obviously, we can't do that one. We're going to do a unified army. The army is an invaluable part of the state, and it shall maintain order. It pays continued modernization and be administered into a centralized fashion, form the lead of the European nations and small power pious and moral. Strong influences from the Dervish movement, and that fought to create a pious Somali state to free of British, Italian, and French influence, going so far to even take German support, which has influenced our policy minorly. We created a proud, pious, and moral Somali uh, uh, state supported by aristocratic excellence, moderate non violence patriotism, and nationalism in the Muslim faith. Though we still have much work to do to reassert our new status as a status quo, as we are forced to modernize in the wake of our new foes, we have come a long way in our goal of creating a new traditional Somalia state. Grant the Hangash uh, unmatched reach. Hungash or the Secret Service uh, or the smallest state well, shall be granted sweeping privileges and powers so they can act freely in the pursuit of enemies of the state and other traits or potential uh, threats. Even under the guard of these shadowy specters, Somalia shall be truly safe, even if it must come at the cost of some people or cost people some personal freedoms and sense of innocence and peace. <coughs> uh, and then we're going to do surrender limit, recruitable population. Look at that weekly map. I'll crush pan Somali nationalist violence. Though we desire to create a united and proud Somali state, we have no love for the pan-Somali movement. Fueled by violent nationalism and extremist radicalism, and frequently paired with far-left or far-right ideas, pan-Somali activity must be tracked and crushed across the nation, so that our regime and our people can finally be safe and secure as we work to unite our faith under uh, under faith and patriotic pride alone. As this is what we're doing. I mean, so, so far, Somali, Somali's not bad. They're really not bad. This is actually pretty great, honestly. I thought we'd get crushed by Ethiopia, but we've done really well making instruments, um, moving around a whole bunch. So, overall... I'm actually very pleased with how this campaign has turned out so far. Like, it, it's, it's gone very, honestly, quite well. Even though I did a lot of this off screen just because I was trying to get through all the focuses as fast as possible, basically, this has actually been really a lot of fun. So, as long as you build yourself up and you know how to build yourself up in Hoi 4, I mean, it's not that difficult to do. So, very, very pleased with this. Very, very pleased. We get to go Gondar. That'd be great. We're trying to take here too. Um, you guys can go up here, can you? No. I think right there too. That's fine. You guys hold, there's a tile up here we can take too. Um, some the horses that way as well. We'll take all the coast and then slowly close in like what the uh, Italians did or do usually. Support Arab Arabic primacy. In order to draw closer to the rest of the Muslim world, while furthering our centralization efforts, we moved on to support the clergy and the goals of making Arabic the main language and writing system of the Somali government. Though this one angered those in traditionalists linked to the old scripts like the Osmania script, it will further. Uh, uh, ally us with the Islamic clergy, uh, while also going on a long way and further linking us to the rest of the Arab world and allowing the central government to more easily dictate and dominate all of Somalia. Look at this. We've split this Ethiopia into two. Hello, what are you doing? Please don't. Uh, some comments include such as, I almost missed or misread Somalia pirates autocratic instead of Somalia paternal autocrats. Oh, yeah, we're all pirates here. Yarr. You guys just do this instead. You don't need to go up there. Hang out for now. You do that. Can you help out here too? If we can push all these guys out literally into the ocean, come back and kill these guys off like that, that would be probably be for the best. But guns? Sure, why not? More than 1.6 political power every single day? Not bad too. 
And then go to Asmara. That'd be great. Uh, someone says, where is Siad Bar? We need terrible military decisions. It was a guy that lived um, between uh, 1910 and 1995. Huh. He was uh, he was a guy. So I was slowly taking that out too. The Caliph of the Horn. We now stand as the Caliph of the Horn, unofficial religious leaders of Muslims and pan Somali and the dominant Islamic power in the region, and in fact, defenders of the faith. We're the sword and shield of local Muslims in the last line of defense against the heretics, heretical tactics and Jews of Ethiopia or the remaining colonial Catholics and Protestants. Though the rest of the Muslim world may not agree with such a haughty title, we know it to be true and we shall defend our faith and people here at all costs. Weekly manpower, weekly war support, division, attack, and defense. Yes, please. Yes. Um, armor trains? We've honestly probably don't need Railway guns would be nice. In Africa? That'd be very nice. Uh, 739. Mechanized. Uh, Mountaineers. Will I actually use those? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Sure, we'll do that. Go in if you can, see what you can do. If not, you know, whatever. Um, you guys are going to be struggling there a little bit. Let's get some more air stuff. Cool. I want to attack here, but honestly, all this stuff has got to wait a little bit. Sons, where are you going? Where goes you? Not Dodge claim, moving to reclaim Europe. Okay, whatever, no one cares. And then uh, we'll grab some. Well, actually, I have a cup of tea here. Nice, uh, the mint tea. Organization expert, sure, why not? Almost got it up there too. Almost there, almost there. Asmara, you know, we'll go in there and kill these guys up too. And you know what? It's 1940. Almost. Actually, right there. There you go. These guys up to next to the Vault of Warsaw. And there goes those guys. Nice, 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 nice. Let's kill those two divisions off. And then kill these divisions up there. Then kill these divisions down here. And we'll call it a war. I would like to take Addis Ababa, but we didn't have the strength to do so, which sucks a lot. But oh well. Uh, considering the army we really want to. We already got a lot of stuff done already, which is pretty nice, huh? Oh, honestly, pretty nice. I some papa. Can we actually take it, maybe? We actually might be able to take it right now. Come on, you guys got this. Grinding it out, level 5, not bad. Go to the Halifax Conference, support Arabic primacy. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Um, we're put down the line, there are a few more... Things in pitiful than an old sickly lion, once a powerful empire who howered the faithful in their hour of need. Abyssinia now is a little more than an amalgamation of scheming dukes who play dress up and impersonate German officers. It's high time we put this one grand empire to rest. Finish him up there. We should be able to get this pretty easily, maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. We'll see. Um, in the meantime, these guys are starving for supplies slowly, 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 while they will be defending the mountains, which sucks. Um, should be able to get them done no matter what. Slowly getting that fall high, huh? Should help improve our capabilities of attacking. Yes, yes. I do that too. All right. Export focus, limited exports, plain stuff. Sure, why not? Oh, they're taking us too. Oh. We're really trying to make sure we don't win here. We'll grab extra research speed. It's only November. About right there too. Ah, I love building roads. Overall, not bad. Doesn't really help us out that much, but that's all right. Siad Bar is here, Mohammed. Oh, maybe it's, maybe it's, yeah, he is here. Mohammed, yes, please. Of oh, Madrid, they've lost 166,000. They are taking us again. Not bad, not bad. Caliph of the Horn, pretty nice. Might as well. And we got him. Hey, we get a fleet too. Oh yes. Nothing like the mighty Ethiopian fleet. Beautiful. We actually have force now too. They have a whole destroyer. Huzzah. 
And yeah, we just put that online. Awesome! Begin army reforms. The reparation is any more armies easier than done. I think it was before, but the first obstacle we faced were to focus our efforts. In addition, the question of centralizing the army, allowing it to retain a degree of autonomy, is bound with modernization. Of course, such a decision will have any political consequences, so no matter what we choose, which is why further reforms must be preceded by sweeping political reforms. Yeah. State of Ethiopia. After a successful campaign in Ethiopia, we now have the task to establish a new local administrative authority in order to restore peace over their simple options for choices. Military occupation, exactly, that's what I thought. Well, how do we get this? Deutsche Middle Africa, huh? They're still fighting the Portuguese, so they're gonna collapse at some point. Which is what we're hoping for. Um Engineers 2, 1940 almost. There's a small airframe. Somali science will lead us to the new age. Anuchu Aljun Sultanate. Mm, Nuclear stability is not bad. Command power increase not bad too. Proud and regal Somalia. Kind of like uniting everybody. Weekly stability, command power increase. Consumer goods look pretty good there too. Um, a proud and regal Somalia. Well, we are a Bokorat. Stricken with our own uh, current identity, we shall endeavor to create a proud and prosperous small city under the aristocratic Islamic government that now controls their state and fate. Conservatism, traditionalism, and bias for progress have brought us to paradise, and now united as one Somali people, which works as a genre together, or this one. Seeing so to capture the glory of Somali's greatest constituent, Sultanate, and former empire, we now move to declare a new al -Juran Sultanate. Under the Sultan, an aristocratic coalition beneath the crown, we shall create a proud Islamic state that includes all children of Allah on the horn without losing touch with their honorable and pious past history and culture. It's not bad. I kind of want to go with this one, though. A unified army. The army is an invaluable part of the state and shall be main, uh, main, it shall maintain order. Phase continue modernization. Be administered in a centralized fashion. Follow the lead of the European nations. Mass recruiting. Somali men, heed the call for your clan, your family, your country. You need you. Come to the nearest recruiting station and send them to fight and together with your brothers. Work hard and ensure that Somalis never again fall under the yoke of imperialism. Um, ensure wartime supplies. Ensuring that we possess enough factors of properly supply modern military is crucial to small survival. Such an effort will demand much of our attention and resources, however. Uh, strategic planning. Our officers eager to educate themselves in the way of modern warfare will have to, the aid of foreign experts at their disposal. This will ensure that the defeat of Somalia's enemies will be imminent, both on a tactical and strategic level. Yeah. More weekly manpower, stability, and everything. That's nice. It would be nicer. Oh, look at that. Oh, they actually won. Look at that. Oh. Uh, Middle Africa collapsed. Oh, my God. Well, Third International is definitely doing something here. Wow. The Briz Accords. The Cairo Axis. The Entente. Mexico is in the Entente, too, huh? PSA do be looking mighty thick. Demobilize the economy. I don't know about that. Well, let's at least get to a proud and regal Somalia. That's what I would at least like to get to. Seeing as, uh, I'm not sure much else. There's much more for this campaign, honestly. I'm not sure if we can really conquer too much more or demand much more of anybody else except for Middle African stuff, but. Who knows? Barati commune. What's going on up there? Nice. So now we're known as Bokoreta. Of Somalia, proud and regal state. With the stability, daily command power gain, maximum command power increase. Not bad. But we don't have any claims on anything. Oh, we do have claims on this. There we go. Oh, we do have foreign claims here too. Oh, that'd be nice. So, up to here, these two tiles we have as core states. Huh. Well then. Interesting to know. Nuclear Somali research. That's what I like to sound here. Germany is removed. Oh, um, we're selected. Demobilize our county, which I really still don't want to do. I like building up our roads and whatnot. Needs of conscription, maybe. Chipotania has joined. 
Um, we'll see these guys. The legacy like of the Dervish out, movement, Muhammad Abdullah Hassan, better known as Ahmed Mullah, was able to unite the Somali people and through faith against the Ethiopians and imperialist aggressors during the first during the fires of the Dervish War. Related to the Bakor through marriage, our Sultan fought alongside the Madmula during this conflict, and to this day the Bakor uses the legacy of the Dervish struggle and its role in the conflict in order to maintain loyalty among the many bickering and rival clans and tribes across Somalia. Without a status of the Madmula, the Bakor would likely not have widespread appeal and support he currently continuously enjoys. In order to solidify the dynamic and to strengthen the Bakor's claim while further subduing the clan, some have suggested that we change the national flag of a Somali Sultanate to match the most famous of the Madmula's old battle standards, which has become the main flag for the Dervish movement and its ideas in modern public consciousness. Alternatively, we could just stick with the current flag banner, and while still spreading Jewish idealism and pan-Islamic, pan-Islamic, pan-Somali Unitarianism in order to maintain order and peace. Follow the, bla the, bla the flag or the banner of the Mad Mullah once again. Keep our flag. We'll never forget the sacrifices that made made to free Somalia. Dervish state. What an inspirational flag. Acquire some tanks. They're costly, harder to produce, and infinitely harder to maintain. However, on the off chance that we can't produce them, they will be an invaluable asset in any future wars and gives the definite advantage over our enemies. Military industrial capabilities. Our factories must operate at full industrial capacity, producing military goods of better supply and equipment army, after all. Supplies are extremely crucial factor of any sort of war frankly to determine the outcome of any war or smaller scale any battle. Refit infantry equipment. In order to convince our men that the army is truly undergone reformation, we must provide them with new boots, guns, and ra rations in order to provide evidence of the effectiveness of our reforms. Airframes, nice. Goodbye. Two, le two leaks? Two weeks left for that. Um, we did get the core stuff done. We can't go to war if we really wanted to right now. But, uh... uh I don't know. They have three divisions there, too. And they're not looking... Oh, they do have tanks there, too. Oh, God. I mean, we do fine over there, but still, like, we're just waiting for them to all kind of explode and whatnot, so... And I like it when people explode, so... Uh, if we have to lower conscription, so be it. But let's go and start training some more soldiers in, just in case. That'd be good. And modern guns, artillery pieces, handguns, and handguns within our possession are election with Velcro Gero, even some dating back to the age far beyond the war itself. Now new equipment is required for the modernizing of the armed forces. Sure, well, not? everyone, Middle Africa is not yet collapsed, but we're going to go to war anyways and see what we can do. Just get Djibouti. Get a little bit of Djibouti. Because we love Djibouti. Djibouti's nice. Djibouti's very nice. Um... I'm going to go to one of these guys as well. Because we should be able to just move in. Oh, uh, sure, guys. Sure, why not? If we can take this tile and start attacking them here, should be okay. Especially if they start moving out attacking us in different directions. Should be alright. We're doing down okay down there as well. Um, we're not at war with anyone else. Uh, sure, guys. Sure, I'll take some of that stuff. 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Uh, show them all sand. We're there. We're there. Send uh, a, a support equipment to focus. We should turn our focus to the production of support equipment and introduce logistical support training in order to better modernize our armed forces. Support companies. Support companies will most certainly be crucial to future war efforts and are must need for any modern fighting force. In order to establish them, we require the support knowledge of our foreign uh, helpers, experts, and our officers, help train our men. Of course, everything, including hiring foreign officers, has a price. Yeah, it does. Ah. Nice. Should be doing okay should down here. I mean, the infantry is okay. The cavalry is eh, kind of questionable, but whatever. And special forces training. Given the crop men who are handpicked from the last Kori by the Sultan himself shall comprise the elite forces of Somalia. These men possess the most loyalty out of all four forward subjects. I've left the full spread of Somalia in the Bukor above all else. Hey, look at that. That's what we like to see. We're not allowed to give up. We're going to force it. Even though they can't pierce their armor yet, it's okay. They're gonna die here anyway, so. Nice job, guys. Uh, there you go, do that. Duh, there you go, do that. Nice. Sure, guys. I'm taking another question back with the National Republic of Korea. You know what? Total mobilization. Political actions. Where's the women? Can we throw them in the workforce? Probably not. We might need to go back down to war camp. Or that one. Go see. Mombasa? Nairobi? Yes. Who are we fighting, actually? Just these two? These three? Okay. Follow Paris. Oh boy. Kampala? 
Kampala. Finally, we can repair things. I love Somali science. Well, Chicago. Plus 13,000. Between the sea, small extent of the crucial point in its history and its strategic location could not be brushed aside. We managed to build up and organize a powerful navy and proper air force. We find ourselves in control of the world's busiest shipping lane. Ah. That should be more than enough to capitulate them. At least that nation, so. Fall of Detroit. They have quite a few divisions. I'm not sure how much we can actually take out here. But. Overall, not bad. I mean, if we really want to, I'm sure we could actually t push in all the way down here and really take out everything here. But that'd be really annoying. I'm just waiting for the collapse. I don't understand why they, they won't collapse. I guess they won't collapse every campaign, but that'd be really nice if they did. But, you know, whatever. It is what it is. But, you know, I think I might just end it there. I think we did really well with Somalia, much better than I thought we would. I don't, and I don't think there's really more content for this, but we're the Dervish state. You know, the Basim Maximund Kali Shire. So, if you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.